How rich is Carlos Slim? How did Carlos Slim get rich? How rich is Carlos Slim? And how did Carlos Slim get rich? Want to know? Then you have to watch this video. In this video, we'll be looking at how rich Carlos Slim is and how he made his money. We'll also be looking at how he spends his money and his lifestyle in general. Also in this video, I'll be dropping some interesting details about how Carlos Slim lost a huge amount of money. I'm sure you don't want to miss out on any of these juicy details. Before we go on, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. While you're at it, click on the little notification bell so that next time we post a video, you're the first to know. Let's get right into it. Carlos Slim is a Mexican businessman, investor, and philanthropist. Born in January 1940 in Mexico to Lebanese immigrants, Carlos built himself a billion-dollar empire through his several investments. Carlos Slim is a billionaire, but how rich are we really talking about? How much is Carlos Slim worth? As of December 2022, Carlos Slim has an estimated net worth of about $81 billion. He's currently ranked by Forbes as the ninth richest person in the world, and he is the richest person in Latin America. Carlos Slim held the title of the richest person in the world for the first time in 2007 when he briefly overtook Bill Gates with a net worth of $35 billion. After this, Carlos went on to double his net worth between a short period of two years. He went from $35 billion to $75 billion between 2008 and 2010. In 2010, Carlos became the richest person in the world and he held this title till 2013. He was the first Mexican to top the list. By the end of 2016, his net worth had dropped to about $48 billion, and by 2017, he was ranked as the fourth richest person. We've seen how much Carlos is worth, but how did he become so rich? Let's take a journey back in time to see how Carlos built himself such a massive net worth. How did Carlos Slim become rich? From a very young age, Carlos began taking business lessons from his father. His father ran a successful business and was also a successful investor. He taught young Carlos basic skills like accounting, keeping financial records, and how to analyze and interpret financial statements. Carlos began investing from the young age of 11. He bought his first stock at the age of 12, and by the age of 15 he had become a shareholder in Mexico's largest bank. Carlos Slim went on to study civil engineering at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, where he also taught algebra and linear programming. Carlos had a great interest in economics, so after he was done with his engineering degree, he took courses in economics in Chile. His engineering degree and the courses he took gave him an edge in the financial world. He began working as a stock trader in Mexico after graduating in 1961. By 1965, he had earned $400,000 from his private investments and used this money to open his own stock brokerage firm called Inversora Bursatil. In 1965, Carlos acquired a Mexican bottling and soft drink company called Jarritos del Sur, which he used to lay the foundation of what would eventually become the conglomerate Grupo Carso. In 1966, he also established a $40 million real estate agency and holding company. After this, Carlos basically went on a shopping spree, buying several companies across diverse industries. He initially focused on companies in the construction, printing, real estate, soft drink, bottling, and mining industries, but he later expanded into other industries like chemicals, tobacco, auto parts, hotels, cement, telecommunications, financial services, and so much more. By 1972, he had acquired seven businesses, and by 1976, he also acquired a 60% stake in cigarette label printer Galas de Mexico for $1 million. In the 1980s, Mexico went into a recession, and the peso became devalued. While other investors stopped investing and started pulling out of investments, Carlos was investing heavily. He acquired the majority stakes of many flagship companies at very low rates. Early on in the recession, Carlos acquired Sigatom, one of Mexico's largest tobacco distributors. 
He also acquired companies like Empresas Frisco, a mining company, and Bimex Hotels, a hotel chain. He became the majority stakeholder of many companies, including Sanborn Hermanos, a popular Mexican food retailer, gift shop, and restaurant chain. All the companies he acquired were grouped together under his conglomerate, Grupo Carso. Carlos's business strategy was to buy businesses at low cost and later sell his stake at a large profit after it gains value or just retaining the business for its cash flow. In 1990, Grupo Carso became a public company. Carlos Slim acquired the landline telephone operator, Telmex, from the Mexican government when it began to privatize its telecommunications industries, and this made him a massive profit. He acquired 51% voting rights of Telemex for $1.8 billion. As of 2006, Telmax was operating 90% of landline phones in Mexico. In 1996, Slim had acquired so many companies across several industries that his conglomerate company, Grupo Carso, had to be split into three separate companies. Carso Global Telecom, Grupo Carso, and Inver Corporacion. In the 2000s, Carlos Slim began to expand his business outside of Mexico and began to focus on investing in the United States. He began purchasing large stakes in major U.S. retailers such as Barnes & Noble, Office Max, Borders, and Office Depot. A large chunk of Carlos Slim's wealth comes from his influence in the telecommunications industry in Latin America. He owns and controls Telefonos de Mexico, Telcel, and America Movil. America Movil is the largest mobile phone operator in Latin America and had a revenue of $42.1 billion in 2021. He also has a Telmex branch in the United States and acquired a major stake in TrackPhone. Slim also acquired Telecom Austria in 2014. America Mobile also invested $40 million in Shazam back in 2013. Carlos is the single largest shareholder of the New York Times company. He first acquired a 6.4% stake, which was valued at $27 million in 2008. He became the company's largest shareholder in 2015 when he increased his stake to 16.8%. Carlos holds a 57% stake in the telecom giant America Movil. He also owns large stakes in the financial company Grupo Financiero in Bursa and holding company Grupo Carso, and other stakes in companies including Manera Frisco and the New York Times. Even though he has transferred a lot of his stakes to his six children, he is still the head of the family fortune and gets the credit for their billions. Over the past decade, he has earned more than $7 billion in dividends alone. The billionaire has also lost money a few times. In 2015, he was one of 12 billionaires that lost over $1 billion in the stock market. He actually lost about $1.6 billion, which is a lot of money to an average person, but was almost nothing compared to his net worth of $80 billion. Now that we've seen how Carlos Slim makes his money, let's talk about how he spends his billions. How does Carlos Slim spend his money? Carlos Slim lives really modestly for someone who was once the world's richest person and is still one of the richest in the world and the richest person in Mexico. Unlike other billionaires, Carlos does not own luxurious yachts or a fleet of luxurious cars. He is even sometimes frugal. Let's take a look at some of his assets and investments. Properties Carlos's primary residence is a relatively modest house in Mexico City. He has lived in a six-bedroom, eight-bathroom house for over 40 years. Carlos has an extensive real estate portfolio. He owns over 20 shopping centers in Mexico City and also operates stores under U.S. brands in the city. He purchased one of the largest private residences in all of Manhattan in 2010. The mansion, located on Fifth Avenue, New York City, was worth roughly $44 million. In 2015, Carlos sold the 19,000-square-foot mansion for $80 million, almost double the price he paid for it. Carlos also has approximately 8 
acres of prime Beverly Hills real estate at the corner of Wilshire and Santa Monica Boulevard. Cars, private jets, and yachts. Carlos has a few luxurious cars. His custom Mercedes 4x4 is his go-to car for everyday use. Carlos also doesn't allow anyone to drive him as he prefers to drive himself wherever he's going. He also owns a Chevy Suburban that is more rugged and a luxurious Bentley Continental Flying Spur. Carlos doesn't own a private jet and he travels occasionally using commercial airplanes. He sometimes opts for the option of the Telmex helicopter. Carlos doesn't own a private yacht. Art Collection This is one area that Carlos doesn't mind splurging on. Carlos loves art and he's an avid art collector. He owns a private art museum called Museo Sumaya that is named after his late wife, Sumaya Domit. The museum was designed by his son-in-law and cost Slim around $70 billion to build. The museum features over 60,000 artworks by renowned artists like Rodin, Leonardo da Vinci, and Picasso. The artworks span over 30 centuries, and together with several rare artifacts, they are valued at almost a billion dollars. Most of the pieces in the museum are from Carlos's private collection. This museum is one of the largest of its kind in Latin America. Philanthropy Carlos also gives a large chunk of his money to charity. His donations are well over a billion dollars. The Carlos Slim Foundation focuses on philanthropy throughout Mexico and Latin America. He contributed $100 million through the Telmex Foundation to help combat poverty in Latin America. He has also donated 100,000 computers to public schools and 78,000 pairs of glasses. He has covered the cost of over 400,000 surgeries. In 2007, he created the Institute of Health, Carlos Slim, to help improve health outcomes in Latin America. That's it for this video. Let us know what impressed you about Carlos Slim in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also watch similar videos by clicking on anyone you prefer on the screen right now. Goodbye.